Hey, my name is Ben, and I'm going to teach you how to tie the easy, small, and classy half Windsor knot. A great knot for any tie pattern and for any occasion. The half Windsor is a step up from the four in hand knot. It's larger than the four in hand knot, and like the double Windsor, it's symmetrical. Great for skinny ties but not necessarily thin ties. Also, it's great for thick, but not wide ties. Does that make sense? It works with all patterns, stripes, solids, everything. And today we're gonna learn the variant of the Half Windsor that's better because it's self-releasing. Okay, my goal is for you to get this knot on your first try. So, this video goes a little bit slower. If you're looking for a quick review, check out our other video, okay? First step is to align, and it's probably one of the most important steps of, of tying a tie, this tie or any tie. And one tip that I have to do this is, I take the tip of the necktie and the tip of my middle finger, and I align them. I drop my arm straight down, and with the other end, I adjust so the necktie is straight. Now, with this tie, I'm gonna give it a little extra length because it's a thick tie. It has a thick inner lining. And this is one of our King Brother Clothiers ties. Very good quality tie on our website, um, but it does need a little extra length when you're tying. And if your neck is particularly wide, you'll also wanna give it a little more length as well. Second step, cross it over, easy. Um, no need to explain this anymore. You will notice that my hands have switched. And then step number three goes around the back. I don't even need my right hand now. I'm holding the short end with my thumb. Step number four, which is in front, down, and through. In front, down, and through. So I take the wide end, I go in front of the knot, down through the hole between my necktie and my neck and uh, yeah so in front down and through at this point we have formed the center of the knot and I like to give it a good triangle shape tighten it up make sure that it's going to hold its form for future steps on to step number five which is around the front we're basically putting the front cover on what will be our half Windsor very soon but before I go on to step number six, I want to give you a pro tip. I take my middle finger and I just keep that front cover. I keep the, a little bit of space in that front cover because we're going to need that space in the future. And then I move on to step six, which is behind, up, and through. So you'll notice I pushed the wide end behind, up, and through the hole between my necktie and my neck. And now on to step number seven, which is through the front piece or through the front cover. And at this point, our knot is tied. We just have to tighten it, which is probably the most important step. Now I could, if I wanted to, I could just grab this wide end and pull it straight down and it would end up being a semi-decent knot and we would all be happy. But I want to give you another pro tip, pro tip, which is that I put my thumb, I take my thumb and I just put it right inside uh, that top piece, which goes down through the front cover. And then with my left hand, I grab the wide end. And as I pull the wide end down, I keep my thumb there and I kind of twist it and use my thumb to tighten that top and front piece. See how the front piece is getting tighter as I keep my thumb there? That's keeping the shape of the knot better by keeping my thumb there and then I just quickly shape the knot. And that is the half Windsor, which is probably only half as good as the double Windsor, or a fourth as good, actually. So check out our other videos, subscribe, to My Nice Tie on YouTube, and buy a tie, change the world. This is Ben, signing out.
something funny is, uh, la 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 uh, getting worse and worse here, can you see? <laughs> when I do this, okay. Last try. Keep looking classy, guys. You got it.